Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if your account has been disabled. Please see your system administrator. And we're going to start by booting into safe mode. So assuming you're at the sign-in screen, you want to select the power icon near the bottom right corner of your screen. Just left click on that. Hold down the shift key on your keyboard and then left click on the restart option. Select Troubleshoot, Reset Your PC, or see Advanced Options. Select Advanced Options again. And now select Command Prompt. Use the Command Prompt for Advanced Troubleshooting. So it should come back with preparing the Command Prompt, so this will take a couple moments to load here, so just please be patient. So you want to select the Administrator Account here, so if it says Administrator Selected, I'm just selecting my user account, but if you have an Administrator Account, select the Administrator, so it just will say Administrator. And then select Continue, leave the password field blank. And now you want to go type in RegEdit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T, so again R-E-G-E-D-I-T, hit Enter on your keyboard, this should open up the Registry Editor here. And you want to go select the HKey Local Machine folder, so just go ahead and left click on that and then select the file tab select load hive select this PC on the left side so you want to go select whatever your local disk is here so go double click on that locate the Windows folder double click on that locate system 32 double click on that and now there should be a config folder in here so go ahead and locate the config folder double click and now there should be a SAM file in here so go ahead and just double click on that it's going to ask for a name for this key you can type in any name you want I'm just going to type in test for this tutorial but you can type in something separately or differently if you want and then you want to go ahead and left click on OK now you want to go ahead and navigate to HK local machine so expand that so I'm going to just double click on that you see now there's a new folder called test. We're going to expand that. Should be a SAM folder under here. Expand that as well. Should be a domains folder. Expand that. Accounts or account. Expand that one. Users. Expand that. And now we're getting close to the end here. So you want to locate a folder that says 00001F4. So just left click on it one time, and now on the right side there should be a value in here that says F. And now you want to locate the line that has a 038 in it, so right down here. And now you just want to change this 11 to a 10, so just delete the 11, type in 10. So there you go, you just see we just changed it to the number 10, and then select OK. And now once you're done with that, you can close out of here. Select the Continue option. And now we should be able to sign in here. It should automatically begin booting us in. And now that we're back in the Windows, we're just going to wait for a second for the icons and everything to load back up. And then once we see that Windows has started up, we're going to go open up the Start menu, type in Computer Management. Best match to go back with Computer Management, so go ahead and left click on that.
select local users and groups on the left side so double click on that left click on the users folder and now locate whatever user you're having the problem with before double click on that and then if it says account is disabled so it's checkmarked in here you want to uncheck it and then select apply and ok and there you go simple as that guys so pretty straightforward process there if you want to go ahead and disable that administrator account that we enabled you can just double click on administrator here and you can select the account that's disabled if you choose to do so so that was just a supplemental step in there as well so pretty straightforward process here guys do hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial goodbye